oh my god i finally found a place for my hair oh so my mom been telling me oh my god go to our chadian people to do your hair or find somali people they'll get your hair right but i never listened guys i just did what i wanted and then i saw a tiktok and i was like okay that's a somali place i could go there and i went um so the place was super super far because i'm in east london and the place is well, it's w12 i'm guessing it's central but central is not even that far anyways um i got to flora's coiffure she's adorable she speaks french it was just like i've known the woman my entire life and she just did it like back home it was just so good like i'm actually shocked that i only have good sense good things to say about this because of so many bad experiences they were gentle i'm saying they because she had an assistant they were gentle my head didn't hurt one bit do you know how long it's been for me to go into a hair salon sit down and get my hair done without crying yes as an adult it's been very difficult in the past 10 years in this country but yeah it literally felt so good uh, the process was super long. You guys have to trust African shops to stay African shops. <laughs> um, but the service uh, and the quality of the, the treatment was great. I'm literally shocked. You guys are going to see it at the end. So she started by applying a lot of like a big amount of shea butter, probably mixed with another oil in my hair for some steaming and to detangle to moisturize to re nourish my hair because like you guys saw on the first clip it, it's just been suffering it's dry my hair is so broken you guys will see it at the end so after applying this she just prepped me to sit down under this steamer for a good hour or two that's why i said that it's super long you know it wasn't also too hot i literally i was surprised that's me recording myself recording the process yeah i sat in there for a minute that was i think the longest part of the process but i really was willing to do anything to get this hair to actually look like a human being again and then she put the roll roll-ons on and she actually warned me that it wasn't gonna look super super curly like the other girl but that just only makes sense because my hair is completely natural and i wasn't expecting i wasn't expecting it to be as curly as relaxed or less tangled hair so i was prepared for that i just wanted it to help me detangle my hair <laughs> And then after removing the roll-on, she literally moisturized every single part of my hair again. Uh, made sure to mas massage the scalp. That's something that we rarely get here. Like, this much attention for this price is hard. Yeah, she moisturized every single part of my hair. Um, giving me a few advices on what I actually need to do for to get my hair back to normal. You guys can see how much hair I lost like oh my god my mom would be so disappointed and then she just started cutting the ends i needed that it's also been a long time for me actually she didn't cut enough but she said it was enough i didn't need that much cut um so yeah she made sure to cut my ends uh and then she went again with the blow dry which i appreciated before she was um able to straighten my hair so she just put the blow dry to we're just talking and you know just telling each other about our lives and just you know and then she started uh straightening i actually didn't want to straighten my hair because i thought it was just gonna take forever but she was like no it's not and it actually didn't it literally took 30 minutes to straighten my hair in other hair salons it takes like what three hours four hours oh but yeah this is the end result Tell me she did not just do magic on my hair. Oh my god, look at how like, look look at the shine. Shout out to the girls that don't get keep. This is my new hair salon and I'm sticking to it.